It's overwhelming. It's a whirlwind. You know, uh, just trying, we're just both trying to process everything that's happened. There's been so much that's gone on. Um, but the one constant through all this is the love and support we felt from so many people that we know and don't know um, globally, you know, and across our country. The outreaching of love has been fabulous and the support's been incredible. We saw what was going on in Brussels and I got upset and scared pretty quickly. My husband got on the phone and made some calls. We were able to meet, reach uh, Mason's mission president in Paris and he told us the information that he knew. He knew that Mason was at the airport, he knew Mason was injured, but he also knew that he, from what he could understand they weren't life-threatening and that he was getting help. And so we got some immediate peace with that. There's two ways you can turn. You can become bitter and angry about things or you can turn to God and and let things go and try to turn it over to him and that's what we've tried to do is just say this is bigger than us this is bigger than mason yeah. we're just grateful we're alive we survived this he survived this horrible incident um and others did survive our hearts go out to those that didn't it makes me sick to know that many didn't make it